right, so these are where, or this is where I had to stop because my phone was dying, but luckily Miss Adette has a charger, so grab that. Okay, so air resistance th slows things down. That's its job. Its job is to slow something down as it falls really quickly. Where did I put it? Um, will you just underline or even highlight the it slows it down part? Let me grab the lighter. I'm going to highlight, sorry, um, air resistance and slows it down. That's what air resistance does. That's its job. Okay. It slows things down as they fall to the ground. It works against gravity. It's an opposing force for gravity. We're going to quickly do notes for magnets. I got to grab magnets. Hang tight real quick. that um, on Monday I will let you mess with magnets okay I have magnets so that everybody can mess with them I just have to be here because I love y'all but I don't trust some of you to do things without me all right give me right underneath this I'm not even going to a new page just write magnet oops magnetism messing things up it's M A G N E T I-S-M. We're writing very, very simple things here. I'm going to put that magnets have two poles. Okay. They have a north pole. And they have a south pole. So the bar magnets that I have are literally labeled N and S. The N is for the north pole. The S is for the south pole. Okay. Magnets have two poles. Each magnet has two. One north, one south. The thing about this is that the opposites like each other. So if I put the north end and the south end of a magnet near each other, they will clink together. If I put the two same poles like poles north and north they do not want to go this one's literally scooting the other one away it doesn't want to be together okay opposites attract north and south will always want to go together but if it's north and north if it's south and south they do not want to touch but north and south they will always want to go together. So I'm actually going to flip this over and I'm going to write on the top of the other side. I'm going to put when two magnets with like poles. Like poles would be the same poles. So, like poles, I'm going to put same poles in parentheses. When two magnets with like poles or the same poles are close, they will repel. It's R-E-P-E-L. You can write it in capital letters. Repel means push apart. which is what these are doing as they scoot away from each other. They do not want to be together. They repel, they push apart. You can't get them to go together. They just keep scooting away. I'm gonna ask you to highlight the words like poles. Repel and push apart because that's what repel means. So I'm going to draw two rectangles, two rectangles. I'm going to cut those rectangles in half. If north and north are closest to each other, they will push away from each other. They will repel. They do not want to be together. If south 
and south are close to each other. They will push apart. They do not want to be close to each other. So like poles, the same poles, north and north or south and south, they push apart, they repel. I'm going to add when two magnets with unlike so if like means the same unlike would be that they're different when two magnets with unlike or different poles are near each other I'm going to put, they will attract or come together. Attract is A-T-T-R-A-C-T. -T. Okay. when they clink. They want to be together. Opposites attract. If they're not the same, they go together every time. I'm going to ask you to highlight where it says unlike poles attract and come together because that's what attract means. Like poles repel. They push apart if it's the same, they don't want to go together. If they're different, they go together. They want to be together. So I'm simply going to give myself two rectangles. Put north, south, north, and south. Okay, that'll work every time. I know we're talking about a lot, and we are going quickly, but... We got to start wrapping things up here. On Monday, we will talk about air resistance. We will mess with the magnets so that you can see it. And then I want to do something really quickly just to write down. It's literally two sentences for balanced and unbalanced forces. And then on Monday, we will try two things and we'll start talking about everything. So really quickly last little heading if you are not me like i don't really have a ton of room here if you have enough room and you can make a line do that if not i'm on a separate page i'm gonna put balanced versus so vs sorry unbalanced forces okay that's my heading I'm going to write down that a balanced force would be opposite forces of equal strength. I'm going to put equal in capital letters. For right now, because we're going to use a website on Monday that helps make a little bit more sense for this, okay? If things are balanced, if things are equal, then there should be no movement. I'm going to highlight balanced. I'm going to highlight equal. I'm going to highlight no movement. Unbalance is the opposite. Unbalance would be that it's not equal. Okay? So if I am arm wrestling somebody and we're putting in equal strength, our hands should not be moving because we're both putting in the same amount of effort and the same amount of strength. At some point, whoever I'm going to be arm wrestling, one of us would be stronger than the other. One of us would overpower the other, which is why when you arm wrestle, you're trying to get the other person's hand to go down, okay? If we're giving the same amount of strength, we're not going anywhere. 
until somebody puts in more effort or somebody puts in more strength. This is the last thing you're writing for me, okay? I promise we're going to look at all of it on Monday. I just need you to have it in your notebook. Unbalanced forces means that there are opposite forces. of unequal, not equal strength. And when things are not equal, that is why there is movement. I want you to highlight the word unbalanced, unequal, and movement. All right. From here, you are going to do that little C Palms tutorial. Okay, it's going to ask you to log in. You're going to have to click the blue login button. It's going to tell you that you have to put in your username and a password. You don't have one. But off to the side, it will ask you to log in using ClassLink. That will log you in. That's what I want you to do, please.